Forflight's next app release later this month will introduce support for iOS multitasking on iPad, along with some major design improvements and enhanced functionality on iPhone. Together, these enhancements will enable you to accomplish tasks more quickly and easily, while also providing a more unified experience across all your devices. Here's Ryan McBride, Forflight's lead product designer, to show you how multitasking works and walk through some of the changes that are coming soon to Forflight on iPhone and iPad. Thanks, Sam. Multitasking allows you to run Forflight side-by-side -side with other apps at the same time and is only supported on iPad. We've made a variety of design improvements to Forflight Mobile on iPad to support this functionality, and we've seriously upgraded Forflight Mobile on iPhone as well. Let's walk through some of these improvements, starting with iPad. To view two apps side by side, both of them must support multitasking. We'll use Safari for this example. With Safari open, I'll use one finger to swipe up from the bottom of my iPad screen only about an inch, which opens the iOS dock that you normally see on your home screen. I'll tap hold on the ForeFlight icon, then drag it to the side of the screen I wish to place it on. Notice how Safari moves over a little to indicate that I can split the screen. If an app doesn't respond this way, it means one or both of the apps you're trying to use don't support multitasking. When I release my finger, Forflight is placed side by side with Safari. Once in split screen, I have a few options. Tapping the area at the very top of either app and dragging it to the other side of the screen allows me to swap their positions. Tapping and dragging the separator between the two apps allows me to adjust their relative sizes. And dragging the separator all the way to the screen's edge will dismiss either app and make the other full screen. Forflight also supports another type of multitasking, called Slide Over, which allows me to place an app on top of another app, rather than next to it. This is most useful when only one of the apps I want to use supports multitasking, since I can open that app in Slide Over on top of the other unsupported app. To use Slide Over, open the dock like before and drag an app to the middle of the screen, instead of either side. I can now drag from the top of the app to position it on either side of the screen. Swipe it off the left or right side of the screen to dismiss it. Now that we've gone over the basics of multitasking, let's look at some of the improvements to Forflight's interface that both enable multitasking and provide a more consistent experience between iPad and iPhone. The biggest change is to Forflight's tab bar and the More tab in particular. Rather than being its own page, More is now a menu that slides in from the right, allowing you to access additional tabs and menus from anywhere in the app. Downloads and app settings are both accessible from the top of the More menu and are now floating pages that you can dismiss by swiping down from the top or tapping the Close button at the top of the view. The group of tabs at the bottom of the More menu also behave this way, allowing you to quickly open and dismiss them without leaving the page you're on. The other tabs in the More menu work differently. Tapping any of these opens them in their own full screen view, with new double column layouts on iPad that better utilize the available space. Notice how the tab just to the left of More changes each time I view a different one. This dynamic tab always reflects the last tab you opened from the More menu, allowing you to quickly return to it from any of your main tabs. In addition to the dynamic tab, you can also now customize the order of all of your other tabs. Open the More menu and tap Edit Tab Order then drag and drop the tabs however you like, and tap Save to confirm the changes. Tab order is not synced between devices, so you can customize it separately on iPad and iPhone, depending on how you use each device. 
Changing your iPad's orientation or using ForeFlight in split screen will change how many tabs are available at once. The rightmost tabs are pushed into the More menu as available space shrinks, allowing you to select any of them as the new dynamic tab. At smaller widths, ForeFlight on iPad now looks and behaves exactly the same as ForeFlight on iPhone, which brings us to the next big improvement. ForeFlight on iPhone now has virtually all of the same features as on iPad. The Maps view on iPhone now uses the same bubble editor as iPad, providing access to Altitude Advisor, Procedure Advisor, and many other familiar features. Likewise, dedicated plate and scratch pad views are now available on iPhone. We've made changes to a few other areas of the app as well. The airport's view in particular has been redesigned for a simpler navigation scheme with a new Info tab that combines some of the lesser used tabs with frequencies and the chart supplement. The forecast discussion has moved to the TAF section as its content often relates to the TAF. It also now opens in a much larger view for easier reading. We're very excited about all the new possibilities that iOS multitasking and the enhanced app design will bring and we're looking forward to getting these updates into the hands of ForeFlight customers soon.